All right, Roosevelt guys, big eight league champions. How are you guys feeling first off? Amazing. Um, yeah, we're feeling good. <laughs> yeah, we, we did what we needed to do for today. Kind of one by one, just take me through how the race went for all you guys. Um, I, I was, it was a really, really fun race to do. Like, I just didn't like being like, it was a little bit more crowded than last league meet, so I just like made a move up, 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 up the hill and just kind of hang out. Hold on. Um, it was like a little bit more crowded than I expected it to be, but I was up ahead at the start and I figured I took it out a little hard and um, I ended up pacing really well. It was one of my best races of the season and uh, I was really happy. Uh, yeah, since the start of the week, my um, you know training hasn't been, well not my training hasn't been going too well, but I just haven't been doing too good. Uh, I was kind of sick in the beginning and I forgot my trainers this morning, so I had to race in, or I forgot my shoes this morning, so I had to race in trainers. Uh, this is my first race in a while, felt pretty good. I was just trying to go out there, make top 10. Uh, most of the race, I was trying to pick it up, and then for the like, last half, it was just me and another Santiago. I tried to play smart. I saw a huge pack at the beginning, so I just thought to pace myself, and it, it worked out. I tried to run uh, like more consistent uh, splits this race, and uh, I ended up having a huge PR on this course, so it went pretty good. I had a play injury early last week, so um, this race I kind of went to it, and uh, I, gave, I gave it my all, so that's all that matters. Obviously, the middle of the season, you guys had a controversy with your head coach and some allegations. Talk me through how you guys just came together as a team, you know, pushed forward through all that here at, cha here at championships and everything now. We all just didn't care, to be honest. Okay. Because, uh, I don't, uh, overall, <laughs> we cared. Okay, we cared, but we, okay, overall, we tried our best to I'm gonna be on, No, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. No, 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 as a okay. team, we had a bigger focus. For, t for our season, and we knew that the more important things, CIF, state, is what we want to stay, st keep our head in. No matter Any what happened, we are going to stay strong, we're going to keep pushing through. Anytime you lose a head coach, it's going to be hard on the program, hard on the team, but uh, I think the best thing that you could do is just try to, you know, focus on finishing the season and focus on, you know, trying to do your best just because you don't want people to, like, start, you know, assuming, like, oh, they did bad because of this, you know, you want to be able to stand up and be like, oh, you know, no matter what, we're still going to be able to be strong. We're still going to be strong. We're still going to be able to achieve what we need to achieve. Yeah, follow what Tony said. Um, it's like, after that incident, like, well, our whole team chemistry got a lot closer and stuff. So, really put our like, team chemistry and, like, put their team grow better. I also feel like the, the team took it as a motivation to just not let anyone think that that would affect our postseason. So, motivation from that, motivation from today's big win. How does that change your guys' mindset heading into, heading into prelims next week? I think we're pretty confident of uh, making this a state this year. That's oh, the angle. That's the angle. That's, that's an end goal. That's, that's the end goal. That's, yeah. that's what we're hoping. We're going to go step by step. Yeah. Prelims, finals, and hopefully state. Stay healthy.